Hello friends, this is Dikki Chadda from Astro Healer. My previous video was about Gadanta point that is on 22nd tomorrow. Mars shall be entering into the Gandanta point and shall remain in that uh, point till the 1st of July. I also did mention that I shall be making a video when Mars is going to eventually shift or transit into the sign, his own sign Aries, where I will explain to you what is going to be the impact of this transit, which will also form a conjunction with Rahu, which is called as Angarak Yoga. What is going to be the impact on each Lagna and each uh, Moon Rashi? So here I am. Before I start this video, let us understand just a little recap about uh, Mars. Now Mars is a masculine and a very furious uh, planet. It normally you associate Mars with your courage, valor, physical, uh, you know, uh, urge. It is about your confidence. It is about how you uh, bravely, bravely fight. Or it, if we talk about profession, then Mars is connected to military operations, army, soldiers, uh, warriors, builders. It is associated with engineers and real estate agents also. If you have Mars very prominently and strongly seen in the horoscope, it even makes you a very, very famous surgeon as well. Now this Mars is taking a transit on the 27th of June. You need to remember this. So let us begin with the first sign, Aries. So we shall be talking about the first sign or the Lagna, Moon Rashi, Aries. Now for Aries, we need to understand that Mars rules your first house and the eighth house. Now, wherever Mars is positioned, it looks at the fourth house, seventh house and the eighth house. So in this case, it is looking at your fourth house, seventh house and the eighth house. Result of which what I can see is if you have been uh, experiencing health issues, then you will recover. You will see at your workplace that you have a new energy, uh, you are into action and all the tasks given to you, you will complete in time. Also, there is a positive energy that is just growing into you and which is uh, taking you towards success. If you are into a business and especially if you have a partner in your business, which means it, it's a, a business in partnership, it will give you a good result. Yes, you need to take care of your uh, mother's health because mass having a full aspect on the fourth house may have uh, may create some problems with your mother's health. Okay. Now, everybody in and around you will start appreciating you uh, for completing all that task which was given to you. I can clearly see that if you are into a relationship, I see a change in the relationship. That means it is growing stronger and stronger, deeper and deeper, and you will have a good time with your partner. So everything is fine. Yes, Mangal is looking at the seventh house also. So with your wife, there could be some little bit of arguments. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Let's talk about the next sign, Taurus. Now for Taurus, Mask rules your 7th house and the 12th house, in which case it is now going to be in the 12th house. So mask in the 12th house itself, from there it is looking at your 3rd house, 6th house and the 7th house. Your expenses are going to soar, will rise. You need to control your expenses. 
try as much as possible not to get into any legal uh, hassle <clears throat> because legal problems may trouble you but if you are already undergoing a court case or there is a dispute there's a litigation then it is in your favor this is something which is very good for you this is also a very good time for people who are uh, intending or have a desire or interest in a foreign uh, for, like you know try to settle down in foreign country visit foreign country or taking a pr a permanent residence over there it's a good time for them guess some problems will definitely worry you as far as your health is concerned because mass is having a um, aspect over the 6th house also mass having a third uh, 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 a fourth aspect on the third house which is uh, associated with your siblings especially the younger ones maybe you have some issues over there with your siblings uh, younger sister or brother people who are into business <clears throat> need to be very careful while doing any type of transaction make sure that the transaction is like you know all documentation is proper you are not signing uh, uh, without reading it understanding it be a little careful whether you are taking a loan giving a loan or any business transaction make sure that all your <clears throat> vouchers or receipts and everything is proper let's talk about the next sign uh, gemini now for gemini mars is a ruler of your 6th house and the 11th house and it's going to be in your 11th house which is a house of your income from 11th mars is going to have a full aspect on the 2nd house 5th house and the 6th house uh your i want you to understand there is a substantial growth in your income you will be able to make good profit whether you are into a profession or you are into a business if your money is stuck somewhere that means you have given money to someone and it is not come for a long time that this is the time when you will recover the money from whoever you have given to <clears throat> all your efforts that you have made in your past at your workplace now you you will see your uh, success is coming to you very easily favorable period for people who are into the court cases it's a very favorable time for you also there's a possibility yes of a dispute between between your love or your spouse so in love relationship whether it is your spouse or whether it is your love there could be some dispute problems uh related to education so if i'm talking to a person who is a student so problems related to education and health is possible so you have to be very calm careful about your health and try to focus in your academic uh, career also it is forming a very auspicious yoga for you, for you people uh especially you are married and as far as your children is concerned it's a very good yoga as a result you will get some good news from your from your children that maybe they have cleared an examination they were sitting for a competitive examination or they were planning to go to, uh, to a new college or a new university and they have secured their admission so overall it's a good period for gemini people next is cancerian now for cancerian mars rules your 5th house and the 10th house and it shall be in the 10th house from where it look at the lagna that is first house fourth house and the fifth house yes you will have success in your work at your work field wherever you are working there could be an increment in your salary maybe a promotion also all the efforts hard work that you have put in uh, all the way uh, down the line people will start appreciating you especially your seniors or you can say your boss 
if possible stay away from any type of arguments any argument or any debate uh, would create some issues or some problems for you spend some time give quality time to your family members they need you and you should uh, i know that you will be very busy with your work but you need to remove some time and spend with your family as well this transit of mars is uh, going to give success to your children so if you are married and you have children success is coming to your children if you are single and if you are looking for a soulmate you can say a twin flame or you want to get into a relationship you will fall into love with someone and romance would be at its peak at this time that's a good news for you next sign is leo now for leo <clears throat> mars rules the 4th house and the 9th house so 4th house is domestic happiness 9th house is your fortune your luck and it is going to be in the 9th house itself from where it is looking to looking at the 12th house 3rd house and the 4th house mars is going to make you financially very strong this transit will give you immense success at your workplace as well if you uh, if you are looking for support that i think the support is coming from your younger uh, sibling people who, who have put in their money invested their money into a property or if you want to buy a property also this is a very good time you will be very happy as far as your financial uh, condition is concerned because money is coming from different sources you have no issues as far as income is concerned your health during this period will also be quite stable quite quite nice you will see that your image your your respect in the society also is increasing due to the transit of uh, mars mars is going to bring more love and more uh, strength in the in your relationship between you whether it is a, ro a romantic relationship or if you are married a good time with your spouse now i would advise you to uh, give respect quality time to your love partner as well as your uh, spouse you have to understand each other because all the while well while mars was uh, elsewhere like what it is today it was causing some conflicts in the family now it is time for you to understand each other next sign we shall be talking about is a sign of virgo for virgo mars is ruling the 3rd house and the 8th house and shall be in the 8th house now 8th house as you know is a house of sudden gains sudden losses accidents injuries occult signs sudden events in life and from here mars is looking at the 11th house second house and the third house now this situation could be a bit worrying for you let me be very honest the biggest uh, uh, impact of this could be your health you have to be very careful with your health if i talk about your career then there are going to be ups and downs in your career as well if you are associated with any business then this transit will make some changes in your business and eventually it is going to be for your benefit married people may get many opportunities to strengthen their relationship uh, with the spouse as well as the in-laws as well eighth house is also about of your in-laws because it is the family of the of your uh, spouse <clears throat> good cooperation and benefit from brothers and sisters in the family also is coming to you mars in the eighth can only the only worry that i can see is in terms of your health you have to be very careful with health travel accidents and so on next sign is libra 
Now for Libra, Mars rules your second house and the seventh house. Both the houses are known as Marka houses also. Now Mars in the seventh house is looking at the tenth house, first house and the second house. Auspicious. Yes, it's a very auspicious transit. It's going to give you good profit. Uh, people who are uh, into business, uh, especially if it is into partnership, it's a very good time for you. There are chances of uh, increment and promotion uh, if you're working at in, uh, whatever profession you are into. Yes, you may have some issues in your married life, uh, having differences or differences of, uh, difference of opinion with your spouse. There would be high workload or stress on you. The pressure would be uh, like, you know, that may create some issues, some tension. So you need to like, you know, relax, calm, do some meditation, take a, take a break. Don't let it come on your health because uh, then that will that will cause some issues in your health. Otherwise, what I look into is that there is an improvement in fact in your health, but provided how you handle the pressure at your workplace. Next is Scorpio. For Scorpio, Mars rules the first house and the sixth house. And it is going to be in the sixth house. From sixth, it is going to look at the ninth house, twelfth house and the first house, Lagna. Let me start with first uh, some advice to students. So if you are preparing for some competitive exams, it's a very good time for you because you, you will have success coming to you very easily. If there are any legal disputes or if you have any court cases, then the result will definitely be in your favor. You will be able to handle your enemies quite well. No op opponents will be able to stand in front of you. Mars is having a full, uh, their mass is into action into the sixth house. Also, you will be able to conquer your opponents at your workplace and when I say conquer you will conquer them with understanding and with your hard work you will be able to be very competitive at your workplace and you will see good result. Yes you need to be a little uh, conscious about your health because sixth house is about your health. There may have some you may have some issues especially with your stomach. Sixth house is about your stomach so digestive system can go for a toss. Try to save money because Mars is also looking at the 12th house. So expenses could be on a higher side. Try to control and save some money. Next is Sagittarius. For Sagittarius, Mars rules the 5th house and the 12th house. And it shall be in the 5th house itself. Now, in this case, from 5th house, Mars is looking at the 8th house, 11th house and the 12th house. You may lose some of your precious relationship due to some maybe you know your nature or the way you uh, handle a relationship you may have some differences with people because this transit is making you a little stubborn rigid you are not at all flexible and that is causing some tensions in relationship it's a very auspicious time as far as students are concerned who is a Sagittarius by Lagna or by Moon Rashi. It's a very favorable time for the students and especially if you want to study abroad, it's a very good time. Try to save your money, control your expenses because 12th house is uh, indicating the same. This is also a time to give some importance to your health because 8th house is also playing a role over here. So take special care of yourself and try to eat proper food on time and the right type of food. Next is sign uh, Lagna is Capricorn. Now for Capricorn, Mars rules your 4th house and your 11th house. Now 4th house is domestic happiness, 11th house is income and Mars is going to be in the 4th house itself. From 4th house, it will look at your 7th house, 10th house and the 11th house. Now, this transit 
मी पुट अ आयडिया इन युअर माइंड दॅट यू वॉन्ट टू बाय अ प्रॉपर्टी मास इन द फोर्थ हाऊस ऑलवेज गिव्ह यू लँडेड प्रॉपर्टी अँड ऑल गुड चान्सेस ऑफ प्रॉप यू मेकिंग लॉट ऑफ इन्कम अँड प्रॉफिट थ्रू प्रॉपर्टी डिलिंग ॲज वेल If you are planning to buy a vehicle, 4th house is also vehicles, we look at the vehicles on the 4th house, you will have success. You can also get your, uh, if you intend to buy a vehicle, that will come your way. You will have full support of your spouse. But please understand and do not get into petty dispute or conflicts with your spouse. That will spoil the fun. you will have also have a good support from your uh, siblings as well if it is 11th house then it's more likely that the elder sibling is going to come to your uh, help while making any decision please try and take some advice from your relatives especially family and take everybody into confidence before you take any decision especially if it is a decision about your finances or about your career as well as business now coming to the next sign is aquarius for aquarius moon sign or lagna mars rules your third house and it rules your 10th house and it shall be in the third house in its own sign forming a angarak yog from there it is looking at the 6th house 9th house and the 10th house this transit will make you full of energy you will participate be more active towards everything that you do now mars is giving you all that courage and uh, valor and ac- uh, action into it it's a good time uh, with your sibling whether it is elder sibling or younger sibling good time all your work will be completed well in time and it shall be successful you may get some new offers job offers and you may think or you to switch over those people who are working for uh, in sectors like bank and especially in bank if you are dealing with loans or uh you are into a financial institute then good opportunity is coming your way if you are thinking of changing a job this is yes a correct time but again i will repeat you know that saturn retrogression during this time a job change is not advisable so you may have talks with the other company you may take some time uh um, get your appointment or whatever it is but 23rd of october only after which you should be joining it this is a very good time for even students they will do very well in their uh, examination or competitive uh, examination as well now let us talk about the last sign that is pisces now for pisces we need to understand mars is ruling your second house and it is also looking uh, ruling your ninth house and it shall be in your second house from where it look at the 5th house 8th house and the 9th house there's a possibility of increment more money coming in benefit from property uh, especially if it's a family property good time it's you are likely to even make good profits uh, in family business as well students who are preparing for some uh, competitive exams it's a very favorable time for you you will definitely score very high health of your spouse may create some problem you need to pay attention over there health of your children uh can give you some mental tensions as well therefore you have to take more care of their health and health of yourself too so friends this was all about the 12 signs the 12 lagnas and the impact of mars which is taking a transit on the 27th of june and shall remain over there forming a angarak yog with rahu till the 10th of august so <clears throat> if you have liked my video subscribe to my channel please give it a like uh, and then click on the notification bell icon so next time whenever i upload a video the notification comes right on your smartphone thank you